<clears throat> Good morning, everyone. It's Muriel, and I'm here to bring back the Shabby Chic Sunday cards. I've gotten lots of um, comments about bringing it back, so I hope um, that you all feel that way. I have made several cards this week, um, all including lace and trim and um, whatnot that just speak to me of being Shabby Chic. So. Um, let me go ahead and show you what I've done. First, I just wanted to show you how I finished up a couple more of the uh, Puffy Daisy flowers. And I was able to use some of those rings I bought from the 99 cent store. As you can see here, there was that huge orange ring. And these are the, um, I made this orange puffy flower with one uh, flower as the base and four to make the petals. And then I used one of the pink rings. Again, these I purchased at the 99 cent store. I didn't think I was um, was going to use them so fast, but they worked out perfect with these flowers. And it's such a big, bold flower that it needs a big, bold center. As you can see, this one is a little delicate, and it has the um, glass button. And then I put a light blue flatback pearl on top to kind of finish it off. Same thing with the pink one. I put a flat back pearl on top of that glass button. Um, the red one has a red button that was almost hidden, but I put a white flat back pearl on top of that one. And then the white one, which was originally made using eight petals, has a pink glass button with a white flat back pearl. And then I even tried to make a flower using some of my trims from my uh, design team uh, package, and I haven't glued it down yet, but um, this is made with uh, one base and four of the uh, petals folded over, glued down, and then I'm going to put this cute vintage button that was given to me by Marissa, I'm going to put that on top. So I just wanted to give you an update. I hope you ladies have um, begun to pull out things from your stash to try, because they're real fun to make. So for my shabby sheet cards, I showed you this one yesterday. These are these card envelopes, and I use um, all of the uh, paper is from the Webster's Pages pack, which is a triple collection triple pack. So you're going to get uh, spring pages, a uh, yacht club, and country estate. Very cute. And there's that first card, and it's full of a lot of those wood veneer pieces, the bicycle the uh, hanging sign. This is from Recollections, but again, wood piece. And on the back, we have a wood veneer heart shape that says, Made for You, and I just kind of signed my name. And on the inside will be the journaling card that will say, uh, How's the Sentiment? And those journaling cards, um, journaling cards also from Webster's Pages, I purchased this um, last week at Michael's. They were a dollar each. And I mentioned that I wanted to house my journaling cards, and they worked out perfect. Now, the second card I made yesterday uh, looks like this. More wood veneer pieces. We have the uh, airplane by Studio Calico, I believe these wood veneer pieces are from. And then the hot air balloon and another piece um, of recollection that says hello. And then I even pulled out the um, people. So there's a male and female, and I paper pieced her dress and paper pieced his pants, and it just looks like they're just down by the lake, uh, waiting or just have gotten off of the hot air plume, possibly, and now on their way to the farmer's market. You know, if your card has to tell a story, make it a good one. That's what I say. And then you turn it over, and I just use a piece from the paper pad and another one of the of the nears in the back, and the journaling card is on the inside. So it def definitely has that country feel to it. I love the gingham. Now, the other two that I made, I used a paper pad that I purchased some, some time ago from Ben Franklin. It's called Antique Cream Paper Pad. It's a single-sided sheet, and it's by Creative Imaginations. So uh, it's from a 2011 collection, so it's, it's dated, but uh, still beautiful. So all of your cream and black prints. So I pulled this out to use 
I had an idea for some birthday cards, which is what I wanted to make all of these, but um, some of them just wouldn't be find themselves to be birthday cards. So now here is this card. Uh, it's on a corrugated uh, card and uh, has a black um, layered a black piece of cardstock. On top of that, some of the designer paper, which I um, took out my distressor and distressed the edges. And here are two banners that I cut out using my Cricut cartridge, uh, a four inch banner and a four and a half inch banner, and just kind of layered them on top. And then I pulled out this beautiful um, Spellbinders die, a labeling die, um, cut it out and embossed it. And then I just stamped it happy birthday with some uh, white ink um, using that famous stamp pad that we all know and love. I put four champagne uh, pearls there, two flatback pearls here, and on the top you can see I have some um, wild orchid craft uh, flower here, some beautiful crocheted lace that was just given to me by Marcia. Thank you so much. And underneath that is some black box trim. And then the sprays here were given to me by um, Marissa. So that's the happy birthday card there. And on the inside, I just have a single flower that comes from my stash of flowers that were given to me by Ana Yanez. Now the second card, same thing. You know, I always make two. And the only differ... Uh, here is what's in the right corner. That is a beautiful flower that I found in my bowl of yumminess given to me by uh, Elizabeth Didi Bonbon. Bon. So it's basically the same, same crocheted lace, the same black trim, and on the inside the flower is at the bottom with a flatback pearl. Okay, and then lastly, these cards here are also from the paper pad um, Webster's Pages and here I was dying to use these beautiful frames that were given to me by Elizabeth Beauty Bonbon. Bon. She made these frames. So um, the paper pad I use is Webster's Pages again. I believe this is from a different collection if I'm not mistaken. Um, let's see because there are so many. So this one is from the um, Sunday Picnic Everyday Poetry Collection, I believe. So I just did one layer of paper. I have a doily that I cut in half and layered on the left side. I have some, um, I believe these are um, Mona Mia. They were um, some flowers I picked up at the scrapbook crop many, many years ago. So they were in this box here. but. These were just the cream ones. Um, I have some recollections of uh, leaves here. And that's a cutout from the paper pad. And um, I used a corner punch here to uh, make this cute cutout. And then three flatback pearls. And the flowers uh, have the stickles on them. According to the YouTube Code of Conduct, all your flowers should have stickles. And then two more of the leaves. Um, and then these beautiful um, crochet, not crochet, I'm sorry, uh, beautiful um, and, um, applique was given to me by Marissa. I still keep them in the package, girl. She gave me four, I believe, so they look like this, and they're absolutely beautiful. So what I did was just cut the flower part out. As you can see, I still have the bottom half of it. And the frame is sitting on top, and then the and the um, applique is just poking out on the side. And then on the inside is just uh, the paper, which is beautiful, and then just a journaling card right there. Very simple. And then the um, second one is practically the same. It just has a different center. So again, that's just, uh, it says a great day with you, and it has a peach background. Same thing, the other half of that doily, the leaves from Recollections, and three of the uh, Mon Monomia, I believe, uh, flowers. 
and then the creamy um, peachy kind of flatback pearls here the beautiful frame which I absolutely love and then the applique and on the inside same thing beautiful paper with a journaling card for my sentiment so I hope you enjoyed these cards I enjoy making cards I like to always be stocked up on cards because I hate to have someone's birthday that I have missed so um, thank you for watching and I will be busy this week bringing to you some more of my shabby chic Sunday cards. Have a great day, ladies. Bye now.